Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys all of my current favorite items. If you've never seen one of my favorite videos, basically all I'm going to do is show you the current beauty items that I'm loving and using and m using more often than anything else in my makeup collection. They change a lot. Sometimes some things stay the same, but these are all, I believe, new items to my favorite list. So we're gonna get right into it. I don't know where I want to start. I don't know where. I think I'll start with this one. So this is the newer brush that I got from Ulta. This is the Tangle Teaser and I love this brush. I do not love this brush when my hair is dry. My hair is dry. It will pull my hair so bad, but when my hair is wet, I can literally just kind of like tease it through and it doesn't yank on my hair and it doesn't cause breakage. So I really, really enjoy this hairbrush. So the next item is the Anti-Dandruff Scalp Serum, the 2% Salicylic Acid by First Aid Beauty. I'm trying to show you without it like completely blinding you. I actually love this stuff. I will put it in my hair if I start to feel like real itchy. I have severe dry skin and eczema on my scalp and this has been chef's kiss a lifesaver. I put it on my scalp and then I massage it and I'm good to go for the day. The shampoo I'm still using but I just feel like it's not doing as good as I was hoping and it's very expensive. It was like $32 or $34 but this stuff is amazing. It really really has stopped my scalp from being severely itchy or burning and it doesn't burn when I put it on. So this I really really love and I'm almost out of it so I'm gonna have to get a new one because I use it all of the time but I really enjoy it. I use it dry. They say you can use it wet, but I prefer it dry. So if I'm having like a really, really itchy flare up or something, it kind of helps tame it and tone it down. So the next thing is actually a Tula skincare product, which is... <laughs> A surprise because a lot of their products I actually do not care for. This is the so, so Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub and guys this is not super super rough of an exfoliator but it definitely is. It's a physical exfoliator. It has beads in it. It definitely makes my skin feel like it's been cleaned and stripped of any dry nasty yucky stuff on my face. So I'm a big fan of this and it smells so heavenly like berries. Like it smells like berries. I thought I was gonna have an issue with it because of the witch hazel but I have not had a single problem with it so I will keep buying it it's just I wish it came in a bigger bigger tube so then the next two things are lip glosses and they look like they're the same but they're not this one is from KKW Beauty and then this one is from Maybelline I actually think in my opinion that the Maybelline lift ones are a dupe for the KKW Beauty ones. It, this doesn't have a name on it, so I have no idea what this one is called, but you can't really get these anymore anyways because her site is currently down. But the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline, that's what it's called, the Lifter Gloss. This is in the color Stone, and it just, so the doe footer, the doe footer, the doe foot is different, and the container is different, but they're very similar if you look here like they're just very that very sleek nude so I'm going to show you them this one is KKW Beauty and then this one is Maybelline they're very very similar and like the consistency is pretty similar I will say that the KKW Beauty has a little bit more pigment than the Maybelline one but I love using a the BFF 3 lip liner from ColourPop and then these I actually don't have that lip liner but I should have grabbed that one because that is my current favorite lip liner right now with these two lip glosses and I really wish I could tell you which lip gloss that is from KKW Beauty but for some reason it does not have a name on it. So then the next thing is actually from KKW Beauty as well. Um, this is the matte liquid lip in Warrior. Is it Warrior or War? Warrioress. And it is so pretty. It literally looks just like this gloss but in a matte liquid lip. And it's like not even super drying matte. It's a very nice comfortable matte. I really 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 enjoy these. I like this formula. I hope she brings this formula back because they were they were really nice. Like they're not super dry but they're dry and they're comfortable to wear if that makes any sense super comfortable so the next th two things are setting sprays I have the Fenty Beauty this is the what it do I think this is a makeup refreshing spray so I like to use this one before 
I put my makeup on when I'm not wearing any makeup just to kind of give my face like a nice dewy shine or afterwards if my makeup starts to kind of get crusty musty do you know what I mean I know we all go through that this is a really nice one to have and the mist is so fine like you think it's gonna squirt crazy but it's it is like just the finest little mist I love it and it doesn't smell bad either and then the next one was the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray so this one reminds me of the Morphe one. God, I was like, what the crap? Morphe one. It's a little bit more expensive, but I will tell you when I put this on as a setting spray for the first time, it didn't feel like it was setting my makeup. It definitely felt like it recharged and rehydrated my skin. Like my skin felt so stinking good after using this. It's not even funny. So I've been using this quite often. And then I use this one beforehand. And then again, I will use the Fenty one when I'm not wearing any makeup just to give my face like a nice dewy, uplifted, moisturizing feel I think I have a lot of KKW beauty here too yeah, it's just because I just recently got a lot of her stuff I'm gonna go in with these products so I have two foundations right now this one is the morphe glow stunner hydrating tinted moisturizer now it does say that this is a tinted moisturizer but I will tell you it is a little bit thicker than that I think that if I just did a little dab and kind of did it it could be but this is one that I've actually been able to build to a very light coverage foundation. It's not full coverage, very light, but it definitely does cover. It reminds me of the Ease Drops from Fenty and it is much cheaper and I really, really like it. I But when I originally bought it, I bought it in the shade way too light for me. And this one is Tan Glow 8 and it is perfect for my skin tone, but it covers up like those little imperfections that you don't want anyone to see without being a full face of cakey makeup. And it is very hydrating and my skin looks glowy. So if you have not tried this one, this one you need to try. It's, it's inexpensive. It's very inexpensive. So try that out. It's a tinted moisturizer by Morphe. It's so nice. So then the next one is Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. When I tell you guys this is probably the best $6 foundation I've ever bought in my whole life. It is 110% the best ever. When I put this on, my skin looks so flawless and so smooth and it's not thick it's definitely buildable it's way more coverage than the moisturizer but it's not drying and it's so good like it feels so nice on my skin and it almost gives me like just this blurred look it's not cakey it doesn't stick to my dry patches and your girl is six 99 essence pretty natural hydrating foundation try her you will love her so the next thing is the elf jelly pop dew primer i don't know that i've ever actually put this in a favorite which is weird because i've used very 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 many of these but this one is a newer one that i just had to re-up on i really really enjoyed this one because it reminds me of my absolutely top favorite primer milk makeup hydro grip primer that is the best primer I've ever put on my face. However, it is a little bit pricey where this one is very inexpensive. So I tried this because a lot of people on TikTok said that it was comparable. And when I tell you I haven't gone back, I have not gone back. This is the one I buy instead of the Milk Makeup. And I absolutely love her. It's hydrating. It's dewy. It's not like sticky, but it's tacky to grab onto that foundation. And I really love it. And it's inexpensive. The Mario Makeup Mario soft pop blush sticks um this is the only one I have but I will be getting more of these because I really really enjoy the enjoy these this one is in the shade raspberry it is a cream stick blush I absolutely love this because one a little bit goes a long way and two it is so easy to use when I am doing like a very simple no makeup look and I'm talking like legitimately I have maybe like a moisturizer on and a little bit of cream highlight or something I pop that on with it just to give my cheeks like a little bit dimension and a little little bit of color and it's so easy to use I use it with a wet beauty blender sometimes with my finger and I just literally dab a little bit on and a little bit goes a long way with this one especially this one because it's very bright I like this better than the Colourpop ones the Colourpop ones are pretty inexpensive I will say that but it's not they're thick like when I put them on I can feel them kind of like sticking to my face where this one just glides on so smooth and effortless I just I absolutely love it all right and then the next item I picked up I have used Essence mascara for a while now but this is a newer one that I grabbed this is the Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara this is the pink one pinky purple one I have the green one and I have the blue one those two were my favorite but this one is so nice I don't remember what video I did where I put this on before I put my um lashes on I think it was an Instagram video and it literally my lashes looked like whoosh, 
and they never look like that with just mascara. So, and then this is $4.99. Born Essence has become, slowly but surely become, one of my favorite drugstore brands of makeup. I have not tried the palettes that I got from that brand yet, but when it comes to like the foundation I've tried, the mascara I've tried, there was a powder I think I tried I really like. So I'm starting to really get into like that brand and I really, really like it. This is a really good mascara if you don't like to wear lashes and you just want that beautiful curl and lift and it's inexpensive. I have to keep saying that because like, that's a big thing for me. It's like, I don't want to have to spend $30 on mascara. Those are my current favorite brushes. Unfortunately, they are all from Morphe. I am not sponsored by Morphe. I don't have a code with Morphe. I just genuinely like the Morphe brushes. Like I just do. I know that a lot of people say, oh, the hairs fall out. Some of them, I do have issues where the hairs will start to fall out after, you know, several months, but they're very inexpensive. So it's easy to replace them. I do want to expand my brush collection to different brands. So if you guys have a brand that you really like and enjoy and isn't going to cost me $80 for makeup brushes, comment it down below and I will try it out. I want to get more Sigma brushes. I want to get, I think, a little bit more MAC brushes because I really do enjoy MAC brushes. They're just so freaking expensive. But this is the Makeup Ariel and Morphe and I'm trying to figure out which one this is. This is the A3.2. This one is actually one of my favorite brushes from this entire collection because it is so perfect for under my eye and I can get into the areas I need to get without it like being huge and in the way. But also I like to use this for my cream blushes. So I'll wash it and I'll reuse it for different things, but I like that it's tapered, but I also like that it's a small tapered brush. So the next two, this is a bronzer brush, and then this is the R2 by Morphe. I love that it also tapers to a more skinnier point, but it's still fluffy, so I can keep my bronzer as straight as I need while also buffing it out. So it's not too dense and it's not too fluffy. I don't like a super fluffy brush for my bronzer. I like it to have a little bit of weight just to kind of make sure that makeup or that bronzer is being packed in. And then the next one is, this is actually a Jaclyn one, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH02. I won't lie to you guys, I really love this, br this brush. I don't know what she uses it for, but I like it for blush, if you couldn't tell because it's colorful. I absolutely love this one for blush. It is really nice. I don't like a round brush for blush. And let me tell you why most people do. I don't. I like to be able to see where I'm placing it in along to my face where I feel like if it's a round brush, it's hard to see exactly where it's placing. Where if it's a little tapered, fluffy brush, I'm able to see exactly where I'm placing it at. So, and they're super fucking soft. Like these are the softest brushes I think Morphe has. It's really, really nice. I love them. So the next one is the KKW Beauty. This is the powder and contour highlight kit I will tell you I did not think I was going to like this one okay but I actually really freaking love this highlighter which I didn't think was that good of a highlighter until I started to actually use it on my inner corners and my nose and it's so good it is so so good this one is my favorite bronzer but I do like to come into this one a little bit just to give it a little more depth um I'll put like a little different color right here it's a weird technique that I do if you guys are interested you can always comment down below and let me know but I don't like to contour so I just bronze and then I add right here in this little where my like cheek goes like this I'll put just a little cool tone so I guess it is kind of like contouring but just the smallest amount anyway so this has slowly but surely become like my favorite go-to bronzer and highlighter palette because one I love the highlighters I love that it comes with bronzer and I don't really have to get like a million things out I just grab this and go so it just really sucks that she discontinued these because she's redoing her site well I hope she's not dis discontinuing these but they are definitely gonna be a new formula because it's a new lab so I'm just like oh I'm glad I got this one but at the same time I'm not because now I'm just like I'm in love with a product that I could never buy again <laughs> so the next thing is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is in the light to medium. I have another one and I don't know if it's darker or if it's lighter than this one. I think it's darker than this one. But I really like to use these over my foundation but under my concealer right in here to give it a nice pop of highlight. So right in here, right in here, and then I put the concealer here. I'm going to be showing you guys my concealer 
technique, my concealer tutorial very soon, very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. But the way that I get my under eye to pop and highlight is like no other and it's super easy and it's super achievable. And this is one of the items that I use. So I wanted to pop this in here. I also think Becca is closing as of September. So if you have not grabbed this, you need to go and grab this ASAP because this is amazing. I think another brand came out with one, which was kind of a lower end brand. So maybe more affordable which is nice if you guys know which one it is the comparable to this then I need you to comment down below and let me know so I can pick it up and try it and tell you if it is exactly the same and if it's less money then I mean <laughs> win-win you know what I mean so the last thing is actually an eyeshadow palette it is the matte honey by KKW Beauty I have done a lot of looks recently with this one but let me tell you my favorite thing about this palette this color right here and then this color right here those two although everyone's like they're not unique they're not unique they're not but there's something about those colors oh, I've literally used almost every one of these colors there's something about those colors that really just give me life up against my skin tone, especially in the fall time. So this is going to be a palette that I will pull out so many times during the fall season because they're so warm and orange and pumpkin-y and leaves. Like it looks like fallen leaves on a palette. Like it just looks so good and it is actually really, really blendable and really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie, the formula is bomb again. The thing that makes me so mad about loving and falling in love with these KKW Beauty products is that I will never be able to purchase them again. So I had to give them some recognition and let you guys know how awesome some of these products are, although you cannot buy them anymore, which I'm sorry, but I just wanted to let you guys know how great they are. I have been trying them. I know I did a humongous KKW Beauty haul and you're probably like, are you even using that? I am. I promise you I am and I'm really enjoying the things that I bought and I'm really glad that I did buy them. But that is it guys for my current favorite beauty products. I hope you enjoyed seeing what the things that I'm currently loving are. If you use any of these and you love them, comment down below and let me know what is something that you're currently using right now and you're using it all of the time and it is your favorite. You need to let me know so I can buy it and try it as always. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up for me and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.